Hey, what's happening, guys? What I've got for you today is another one of these starter kits from Amazon. This one is from that company. <laughs> and it costs $30 from Amazon. It's on sale 33% off. And here's what we've got inside of it. You can take a look at that, and then we're going to go over the components individually and see what's in here and I, I i think it's a decent deal it's not as good as the last one but it's okay and i'll tell you the reason i bought this one so let's start off by looking at uh, the resistors they gave us see what kind of selection we have 10k incredibly useful pull up pull down 330 great for um LED current limiting resistors if you're using 5 volts. A couple of diodes. 1 meg. 5.1k. 2k. 10k. 100k. 100 ohm. 220. And 1k. So... This is mostly a useful selection, like 1K, 220, I use 100 so much, 100K, 10K, 1 meg, 330, and another 10K. So, out of all those resistors, the only ones that I wouldn't use that much are these three. So these are all good. A nice selection of resistors and again like I said a couple of diodes these are the mounting things for this board we'll get to this is a breadboard power supply pins are only slightly bent lead free solder can be USB powered are powered from a 2.1 millimeter jack, switchable, 5 volt or 3.3 volt. These are always good to have. Next, this is a uh, stepper motor driver using the, I can't read what that says, my eyes are too bad, ULN2003. Okay. Who is next? Joystick, always useful. This is probably the 1602 LCD display. All nice and nestled in here. And does it have a backpack? No. That's fine. So you have to look it up this way. And I have many lessons on the channel on how to do that. Here we have the ultrasonic sensor. I'm trying to get this out of here without bending the pins, but as you can see, I didn't really succeed too well but yeah there we go ultrasonic sensor installation instructions resistor card always useful nine volt battery to a 2.1 millimeter so you can use this to power your breadboard experiments couple of potentiometers uh, 10k so they're both 10K, which is a really useful range. A selection of 5 millimeter LEDs. Two buzzers. I think this might be a switch. Let's see here. Yeah switch that's what I thought it was 
some switches, some light dependent resistors, RGB LED, 9 gram servo, DHT11, kind of the same stuff we saw in the other box. A uh, water sensor, this is like a soil lever sensor, no this is a water sensor. Infrared receiver. Infrared remote, which means we've probably got an infrared LED in our LED pack. This is like an 840 tie breadboard. And then you can take your, uh, your breadboard power supply here. Click it on just like that. Now you have power to your power rails. We have some male to female DuPont wires, about eight inches. We have one of these little stepper motors. And that, like I told you, plugs into the stepper motor control board, that ULN 2003, and it's connected up there. We have some shorter DuPont wires. Some male headers, a single seven segment, a seven by four, and a 74 HC 595. So a shift register and a screwdriver. That's all pretty cool. Let's go take a look on the uh, computer at this. All right, so here it is on the uh, Amazon site, and I will put a link down below to you and as you can see I purchased this I did not get this sent to me and this was purchased with money from our patrons if you're not a patron please check out the link down below you can get in for a dollar a month and uh, we're starting back up in September we, we skipped it over the summer we do a monthly zoom meeting where we all get together and just chat so that's available to you if you wish to become a patron now here we go we have the my Uzai Super Starter Kit. I'm not going to read all this. So again, it's thirty dollars and uh, ninety nine cents, and it doesn't have quite as many sensors <laughs> as the other kit. Pardon me, I sneezed. But it's still a good kit, and it contains a lot of the basics to get you going. So let's just go down here and. I'm going to skip all of their stuff. Content of the CD. I didn't get a CD. I'll have to check that out. I just wanted to see what the reviews say down here. Great starter kit. Breadboard. Quick and easy to assemble. Jumper wires were defective. I mean, that's what you're going to get for a $30 thing. It's not going to be, you know, AAA plus quality, but it's good enough to get you going. Anyway, like I said, I'll put a link to it down below. So as you can see here, I put the uh, the case together, and it's a really nice case. Nice little components all fit very uh, snugly in there. But, you know, some things aren't going to fit back in there. Like that, and <laughs> that, and, you know, that. But I don't think they expect you to keep everything in there. Just for, uh, you know, sensors and stuff. Like I said, makes for a nice kit. So let's take a look at the uh, their Arduino here. Yeah, looks like standard Arduino Uno. Come on out! Prototype board. Yeah, that's an actual Atmel 328P there. Got a reset button. Yeah, it looks like a decent little board. So then what we're going to do is we are going to put our little holder system together here. which is apparently cut out of clear 
we call in the U.S. plexiglass. I think what do you call it in the UK, Perspex or something like that. But that's a nice little board. We can mount our breadboard on here and our 1602. And we're going to do that. One moment, please. All right, so let's start and we'll mount the, uh, the Arduino here. Huh. Those are too short. And that is what they're telling me to use. Hmm. You know, when all else fails, read the instructions, of course. Screw goes in the bottom. And then the uh, the little brass nut goes on top of that. And you know what you say, you can you can give a man instructions, but he probably won't read them. <laughs> so I was talking to Blake last night, and he had his um, first class for his uh, one elective he's taken this semester. It's called uh, Slav 880 Vampire Blood and History. I said, so how was your uh, vampire class? He goes, we got to read books, Dad. We got to read Dracula and uh, Interview with a Vampire. I'm like, oh, those are good books. He's like, I don't want to read books. I'm like, well, what, what exactly do you think you were going to be doing in a college level vampire class he was talking about vampires I'm like yeah you're talking about them but you're gonna have to read so that you can uh have something to talk about <clears throat> i kind of feel bad because i talked him into taking this class looking over his list of electives i warned him i said the first elective i took because it sounded fun was fencing I thought I was going to be sword fighting and swashbuckling. Yeah, no, it wasn't fun at all. It was very uh, regimented. One moment. There is probably an easier way to do this. But I don't know what it is, so... We'll do it my way. But we'll get everything together. All right. So next we have to do the 1602 LCDs. So we'll get them in there. Through the magic of video editing. Very nice. Now we can put this in a like a so. I'll even use their supplied screwdriver. Not sure why they made that so high other than so you can get wires on there, which is not a bad idea. If I were going to design this, I'd have just used right angle headers so they stuck out the back and you could put it down lower. Not that it matters. I mean, it's just it's a bit high. Be all right. So I like Reddit. I like to read the uh, 
the different subreddits on their little, you know, like interest areas. And since Blake's been at Pit, I've been uh, following the Pit subreddit, and it's hilarious. Like for instance, this is uh, what September first? Yeah, September first. And uh, tonight is their first football game, University of Pittsburgh against West Virginia University, you know, WVU, Mountaineers against the Panthers. And there's all these posts in the pit subreddit from students who are like, should I skip my intro to biomechanical engineering class to go to the game tonight? Dude, do not, do not skip your first classes. That's when the professor is going to talk about the syllabus and what is expected of you and what you need to do to get a good grade in the class. And also, why are you scheduling your classes at 7 o'clock at night? Now, granted, Blake has one. It's a chemistry lab that goes from 6 to 10 p.m., but that's the only time they're offering it, so I don't know. Maybe that's the only time they're offering some of these other classes, but... Who knows? But yeah, I'm just saying, if you are a young person and you're in college, do not skip your first classes. Go there. Go over the syllabus. Listen to what the professor has to say. He's going to tell you, or she is going to tell you, this is what you need to do to exceed in my class. So pay attention. That's my lesson for you. For today and this is the Missouri Arduino starter set kit and like I said it did not come with a CD they don't give you CDs anymore now you get this card that has a link and you can go from there how much of this you're gonna see in the future I don't know this we're gonna see a lot that's why this is the whole reason I bought this just to have this nice little prototyping thing right here all right, guys, I've babbled enough for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. If you're not a patron, check it out. Buck a month. There are a couple other tiers. Just a buck a month is all you need to do. That's it. I'm out. Peace.